Hi everyone, here is a quick video on removing backgrounds or part of an image by using the cutout or the mask tool with the magic wand or the brush. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go over some quick instructions for this assignment. Um, using the cutout mask tool allows us to cut out a background or basically hide the background with what we call a non-destructive technique. We are not deleting the pixels. We are not removing the background. We're just simply covering it up with a mask. And if we cover up too much, we could always uncover it. So we're never really destroying the picture, which is best in case we make a mistake or realize we need to change something. We could either remove or bring back the pixels forever and ever without just deleting them. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There's three images below on this website and you're gonna save them to your Google Drive. We're gonna open each of them in Pixlr, make a copy first, and then we're gonna use the cutout slash mask tool. It's the scissors with the magic wand to remove the background. All right, so here's the three images, and you are just on your Chromebook. It'd be real simple. You're going to right-click, save image, right-click, save image, boom, download, download, and right-click, save image, and they're going to all be in your Google Drive. All right, so we're going to move on to step two. We're going to open each in Pixlr, make a copy, and then use the cutout mask scissors tool with the magic one. All right, so let's come over to Pixlr. And I'm going to open the image right here. And we're not going to load the URL like in previous videos. I'm going to open the image and scroll through my Google Drive to find out where this is down after my folders. And I'm going to start off with the hawk first. And let's go ahead and open this. All right. Step number one is going to be make a copy, right? May always make a duplicate. Now, like I said, we are we're we're gonna um, use a mask, so we're not really gonna destroy this image anyways or remove anything, but it's still just a good habit to always make copies of everything, okay? You're, it's going to save you one day. We're going to make a duplicate, and then again, make sure you turn off this original layer, okay? Make sure you turn off so it's not visible. All right, so here's the few steps what we're going to do is we're going to basically come to the scissors or the cutout, or I'm going to probably call it the layer mask tool, layer mask, because that's what we call it in Photoshop. Okay, but the scissors... And we're going to jump over to the second one, which is the magic tool, magic mask or magic wand in Photoshop, magic mask. And we're going to be on remove from mask. And your tolerance, I'm going to set this back down to normal. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, and so here we go. We're on the cutout, magic wand, magic mask, and remove from mask, which means whatever we click on, whatever color pixel, um, within 32 shades, it's going to remove, not remove, just cover up those pixels. So just single click anywhere in the blue sky right here, and boom, there we go. We got the background gone. Now, I do want to talk a little bit. Let's Now I'll talk about tolerance. The tolerance allows us to grab more similar shades. So let me go Control Z. I'm going to bump my tolerance way up over here. I'm going to bump it up like to 92, let's say. And it's going to grab, I'm going to click here in the blue sky, but it's going to also grab within 93 shades of this blue. And there we go. It has removed more of the blue around the, these feathers. Now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And uh-oh, we've run into a problem here. As you can see, it actually removed part of our hawk's face. Let me go control Z. And the reason being is because when I click on a shade of blue and I have the tolerance turned up so high, it is going to also grab this white area because um, this is this, these white areas are similar in shade to the blue. So this is why we have to have our tolerance turned down. Probably just leave it at the default, which is right, I believe, at 32 for, for Pixlr. And I'm just going to click in this blue area. And that's good enough for now. Let me zoom out. I'm going to use Control minus with my left hand on my keyboard. And there we go. All right. Let's go back to we have all three of them that we downloaded. So let me go click on um, uh, Open Image. And let's scroll down to the second one. Let's go to the flower. And open up this image. And again, start off by making a duplicate of the background. Duplicate. And we're going to be on the cutout right here, cutout, magic mask, remove from the mask, and it's going to remove anything that's white right here. Boom. And nothing happened. 
and what it did, I don't know if you notice over here on the right hand side, it actually did, but I got my background turned on. So it's so not only do I have the flower on top that I did cut out the background, but this one is visible. So let's uncheck the visibility. And there we go. Now I got this one correct. All right, we have one more to do. And this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go open image again, scroll down and find the turtle that I already downloaded. Open image. Okay, now this one's going to be a little tricky. Let's go ahead and duplicate the background. I'm going to make a duplicate and turn off the background image. All right, so I'm going to leave the tolerance right here at 32. Okay, contiguous means that when you click on a pixel, it's only going to select blue pixels that are connected or touching, okay? If you uncheck it, it might remove blue pixels that are over here and blue pixels that are over here, even if there's not any blue ones in between, okay? So... Contiguous just means continuous. So I'm going to just try this clicking somewhere in this mid blue area because it's going to go within 32 shades. So let's go ahead and select. And it did a decent job. I'm going to click around and try some control Z. Let's try other areas of this. Um, nope. So as you can see, you notice it removed these pixels over here, but it, it also removed some down here in the bottom. Okay, let me show you that again. Click here and it selected these also. If I click the contiguous, it will it only grab these, it will not grab the ones that it did down here. Okay, so in this case, I am going to leave contiguous on, but I'm going to bump up the tolerance. There's a wide uh, range of blues on, on, this, on this image, so I'm going to click. I bumped up my tolerance to 78, Whew, and that did pretty good. I got most of it. Now, if I click over here and try to get more of it, ah, we run into a problem because... This lighter shade that I click on the water is very similar to some of the shades of the turtle. So actually, maybe let's try this. Maybe I'll try turning my tolerance back down. We could try different areas. And okay, got some of it and did not remove the turtle this time. Now, let's just leave it like this. At some point, there's it's easier to now switch over. Not the magic mask, but I'm going to go over to this draw mask where it's just like a paintbrush, but we're painting the mask. Okay, now again, so with the mask, when you are on remove from mask, we're removing from the image and it paints in red and it removes all these. Now listen, we are not deleting these pixels. If you switch it over to add to mask and paint in green, it brings all of this right back. So we never, this is why we call it non-destructive. We're not deleting these pixels. So control Z, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to switch it to remove from the mask. And I can finish this up by just getting all this little last stuff um, by painting over it when I'm on remove. All right. And then you can, I'm not going to spend much time on that. You can get yours perfect. All right. Now, what are we doing with this? We are now going to find, you got to, I need you to find your own background scene, anything you want. Okay. Have fun with this. Come up with an image and you're going to, we're going to copy the three images that we just cut out and bring them over to uh, our background. Now, here's a couple rules. When you bring the images over, do not stretch them bigger. We'll talk more about that later. And for your background, I suggest, doesn't have to be, but suggest, make sure your background is around 1,200 to 1,600 pixels wide approximately, okay? So let's go ahead and find a background to put these in. So I'm going to jump over to new tab. Let's come over to images. And where is my... Um, there we go. Let's go over to images. And I think I'm going to add these guys or gals over to, um, let's check out mountains. I don't know. Let's see what we get. See if we get some good images. Let's go to a mountain scene. All right. Sure. Uh, let me click on this image and we can check out the size. All right. 1080. 1080 by 692. Close enough. I said 1200 to 16. That This is a good, good approximation. So 1080. Make sure you don't have any small images that are two, 300 pixels wide. It's just not going to work very well for the sake of this assignment. 1080. Good. All right. So right click. Now that I'm on Google, though, I am going to copy the image address, find out where this image lives on the internet, come back to Pixlr. I'm going to go to File, Open uh, Image URL. Uh, that this works, or you could go to the new image. Either way, load URL, paste, Control V, enter, and we have our mountains. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our images over. 
All right, so let's start with our hawk and what we are going to do. Just out of preference, I like to go to my arrow. This is my selection tool. I like to be on this one. Uh, you don't have to, but I'm going to go Control C on my keyboard. That is for copy. I'm on this correct layer. I'm on this layer, not the background, but the one I did my cutout. It's you can see it right there with the scissors. Control C. We're going to come back to my mountains. Control V, and we'll paste it. All right. So a quick lesson on um, on pixels. When you copy and paste something over, it matches the pixels up exactly one for one. It puts one pixel on one pixel. So obviously the size of this hawk image was much larger, okay, than the mountain scene. So I could add this hawk up here in the sky. Um, a quick explanation. Let's say you have a background, an image that's 100 pixels, and you have another image that's 100 pixels, and you put them on top of each other, it's going to be exactly the same size. If you have a background that's 1,000 pixels, and you have an image that's 500, when you bring it over, it's going to be half the size. Okay, Like I said, it's going to match up the pixels exactly. Now, when you're bringing images over to your background, let me go to the second one. I'm going to go Control-C, come back over to my mountains, Control-V. Uh, there we go. What you don't want to do is end up in a situation where you are tempted to uh, bring an image over and then have to stretch it bigger. Just for the general sake of resolution, if you ever have an, bring an image to another photo, do not stretch it bigger. Going smaller is fine. You're actually increasing the resolution. You're fine. Don't, but you do not want to stretch it bigger. All right, let's go to the last one, which is our turtle. Control C and go to our background image and Control V. And again, this is fine. Like I said, you do not want to stretch something larger. What you're doing is actually just making it blurry. You're going to pixelate it and turn it all Minecrafty. So don't do that. Control Z. Only make your images smaller that you bring over. Now listen, if you find out that you have a problem with your um, with your layer mask or your clipping mask, you can actually, even in here, oops, you can in here, as long as you're on this one, let's, while we're at this, let's go ahead and rename this part of the assignment. I'm going to call this turtle. Uh, rename your layers appropriately. Turtle, flower, click here, oops. Um, highlight, just call this flower, and you, you get the idea. I'm going to come back to my turtle. Now, you can see that this, if I turn off the background, it'll be more evident. Oops, sorry. Let me turn off the visibility. You can see my layer mask was not perfect. You can still edit it. Make sure you're on your turtle. I'm going to go on my turtle layer. I'm going to go back to my scissors, and I can come back with the brush and remove from the image and I could still paint over this. And as you can see there, it'll remove it. Um, well, you can remove. Remember, you can remove or you can add or bring it back. Now I got a lot of work to do. Let's go Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Remove from mask. Decrease, sorry, decrease the size of my brush. And I'm going to clean up some of this stuff over here. So you don't have to have it perfect before you copy it. You can still edit the mask wherever you bring it. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out. So those are the three images, but there is a one, two more parts to this assignment. I do want you to now also add two of your own images, okay? And to make it easier yourself for your, the sake of this assignment, try to find images with a solid color background. It, it, the magic wand will be much easier to use. Um, and like I said, rename your layers appropriately. So in total, you are going to have your background, whatever it is, you choose the background, um, just one background for this whole assignment, and your five images. The three that I gave you and two on your own that you are going to choose, cut out, and bring it to your background. All right, and there will be a part two of this assignment, um, but for now, um, hopefully this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. All right, have a good day.